thing. Um, with, uh, with around the same time, you know, Coach K was a neighbor of ours. Uh, he lived around the corner from me and sent to the fourth floor. And, you know, he, he initially told us about, you know, this new artist that he had, he was working with, uh, named Young Jeezy. And I met Jeezy. Coach used to bring him through to make um, show CDs. He used to come to the crib and in the fourth ward, I would make show CDs for him I, way before we ever did a mixtape together. But he also, you know, he came to me with a vision. That was the first time I ever got paid for a mixtape um, was, the, was the Jeezy Streets is Watching Gangsta Grills. And we dropped that birthday bash of 2004. And within like no, no time, that's all people were talking about in Atlanta was, you know, the Jeezy Gangsta Grills. And this is pre Trapper Die, like the first tape. Um, so, yeah, so this was, you know, initially this was really, this is how, you know, Gangsta Grills as a brand started to really make waves. And me, Sense and Cannon, like we were, you know, I was doing drop, like it, it was almost a platform for all of us in a lot of ways. And I was like putting all of our drops on there, whether it was trendsetters, whether it was Cannons. You know, Cannon was producing at the time, even the way like Go Crazy, the record with Jeezy and Jay-Z, you know, that has mixtape history to it too because that that beat I used on um, the T.I. Gangsta Girls Down With The King, and I had a T.I. acapella and I had some Cannon beats and I, I literally took the tip acapella and put it on the Go Crazy beat. It's like the last record on there. And uh, we were playing it in a club, you know, in Atlanta in them days. I think it was at Visions. It was a Jeezy party. And Jeezy heard it, and he asked Cannon about the beat. And Cannon was like, no, it's, it's open. So that was Cannon's first placement, uh, which wound up on Jeezy's album, which wound up having a Jay-Z feature. So, you know, all this is literally happening all around the same time. So, you know, like, with, from that moment, you think, like, when's it going to happen to literally feel like shit happened overnight? You know, next I looked up and, you know, Gangsta Girls was the hottest thing out and, you know, everybody was literally calling my phone or asking who's, who's this DJ drama. Mm -hmm.